Okay, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to tie a little damsel fly uh, imitation with deer hair. It is a fly that has morphed from a previous video of mine called the Little Green Inchworm. Basically the same tying technique, just a little extra on it. The reason I want to show you this fly, I have an upcoming video. I uh, went up to Oil Creek here uh, a week or so ago and caught some fish with it and I referenced it several times and it's a little different than I've showed you in the past so I wanted to show you what how I tied it and uh, it did pretty well so I want to uh, make sure you see how it goes alright what I have in the vise is a size 14 it's a barbless jig hook with a uh, little, ba little brass bead uh, Five thirty seconds counter sunk. You can use tungsten if you want, but I uh, really didn't put a lot of weight on this. I don't want it bouncing on the bottom. I kind of want it floating near the bottom. And the thread I'm using is Danville. Let's see what I put in there. Seventy one forty denier and olive. Kind of a dark olive here. Let's start the thread on behind the bead. Wrap it back, cut away the tag end. Like I said, this is on the upcoming video, not the one I just posted of uh, Forest, First Fork Set of Mahoning, which uh, I didn't do all that great on, but still posted a video. It was pretty packed. Warrior up there, nice weather. Tons of people, tons of people parking. Was at a premium. What I have in the stacker is uh, basically it's uh, just dyed all of deer hair. This is belly hair. Take a clump, maybe the size of a pencil, with put it in your stacker. Stack it up. Then pull it out. Trim up the butt ends. Still want this to be rather long, so don't trim it down too far. Take your hair, lay it right in behind the bead. Give it a wrap. Kind of position it back a little bit. Give it another wrap. Pull it tight. Give it a few wraps in through the hair. Now wrap backwards into the bend of the hook. Give it a couple wraps here. Wrap it back up forward, overlapping the wraps you made on the way down. Wrap up through the hair again. Give it a few wraps in behind the bead. Boy, that ice maker it is loud. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and give it a couple whips. Cut away your thread. Now you're going to go ahead and cut this collar off. I guess theoretically, I'm going to leave that on there. Doesn't look too bad at all, did it? Okay, just like that, boy. That's a nice sharp hook. I was tying these on a barbed hook in the past and pinching the barb, I think. I did myself a disservice by doing that. I wasn't getting the great hookups that I thought I should be getting. Getting a lot of hits. So we're going to see if this barbless does a little better. Alright, take a sewing needle. Put it in your vise.
you know, clamp it in there. I'm going to pull it back here so you can see it in the camera a little better. Take your fly, place the butt end section right over top of the point. Just like that. Take your thread. Now what I like to do at this point here is take my fingers. I got this little Tuxi cup here. Just wet them a little bit. That way you can get all of these hairs. Stroke them back. But grab your thread first. Start your thread back on the middle and behind the hook. Now wrap it back few times and sort of when you get to the middle give it a couple wraps in the middle and let's wrap it backwards toward the rear we'll give it a few more wraps here could have let that needle out a little further but I wanted to show you on the camera I don't want to go off frame but that's close enough all right at the end Give it several wraps. Now you want to work your way back forward. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's go right back to the middle again. Give it a couple wraps. Back forward again. And in the bend of the hook inside of it. Now we're going to go ahead and take your whip finish tool. Give it a couple whips, whoops, like that. Pull it tight, cut it away. Now be careful when you remove the fly from the needle, pinch it tight on the butt end section. Like that. Take your fly, put it back in the vise. I should have cut a tag, should have cut the tag on end away first, but I didn't. So we'll do that now. All right, now take your get off my tag end. Take your uh, tips of your hair. And right in front of where you wrapped it, trim them down. If you got any stragglers like you got right here, give them a couple trims up. <clears throat> Alright, there you go. One of the most important parts of this fly is I, early on I, when I started tying this, I had a couple failures. So you got to super glue the butt end section here. But we'll do that in a minute. Alright, next we're going to take a feather. I've been using this Hungarian partridge. It's got this uh, whole big skin. It's a uh, nature spirit. Got it at the Risen Fly Shop. Walked in one day and they had it on the thing here. I do have other partridge but on a whole skin of it. So, plucking a feather at a time here. Now, you can either show you what I did here. Wrap the whole feather around and it'll look like this. Or, well, I'm going to show you. We're just going to create some legs. This guy's a little shorty here. We're going to make some legs on it. Which, the one I fished, I do believe, actually had about four or five of them. I lost a bunch that day. And some had the legs, some had uh, the full wrap collar of the, of the uh, feather. But we're going to give you the version of strip that off here all the fluff of just the legs start the thread back on make sure it's good and secure cut away the tag end take your 
feather that you just removed the center por portion out of. Place it right on a V over top the fly right behind the bead. Pinch it on either side. Take your thread and gently give it a couple wraps because you don't want everything moving around on you. Now you can pull it to length like that. Pull your feather back, wrap in front of it. Take your scissors, cut in behind real close. Give it a few more wraps. Now take just a little bit of dubbing. This is old dubbing from uh, International Angler way back when. But I put a little uh, wax on the thread. See how those legs come out. Yeah, that came pretty good. Just take just a little bit of dubbing. You don't need a lot. Just a little pinch of this stuff here goes a long way. Again, I'm going to wet my fingertip just a little bit. That's way too much, I think. Nice tight noodle. Alright. Go ahead and take uh, just a dab of your super glue. Run your thread. Give it a couple turns. Take your whip finish tool. A couple of whips. Cut away your thread. Take your super glue, most important part of the fly. Coat that butt end. Give it a dab where you did a couple extra wraps in the middle. And then right in behind where the hook is. And there you go. Now I've done well with this fly just as the bare deer hair without any of the legs or dubbing or even the uh, bead but this is the version where I caught the uh, fish on my outing at Oil Creek which I haven't done a video yet I've been uh, back to work and of course the way I work it's kinda hard sometimes to put a video together but I'm gonna try to do that shortly so when you hear me talk about the fly that I did well on this is it this is the version of the other versions, but now you see what I'm talking about. All right, enjoy. Hope you're doing well out there this spring fishing. And stay tuned for that Oil Creek video, hopefully uh, not too long from now. All right, we'll see you. Stay safe.